friends welcome to this uh, session as we are discussing uh, regarding the water treatment processes in earlier uh, session we have seen that uh, what are the various processes which are used in a water treatment plant to treat the water to make it potable and can be used for the consumers so if you see the overall water supply scheme so the various parts which are incorporating the water supply scheme are first one the intake work then second is the water treatment next one is the water storage and the last part of it is the water distribution to the consumers so in the water treatment process the water treatment plant is there and water treatment plant is having the various uh, units which are uh, carrying out their functions to make the water suitable for the consumers and in the water treatment plant the first uh, unit is there which receives the water from the uh, water source by means of a rising main and that unit is called as a aeration unit now this uh, you might have observed many a times you may have observed that this uh, you can observe the splashing water is there in a treatment plant which flows uh, over the various steps or it is uh, exposed to the atmosphere and uh, that process is nothing but the aeration process and there are many types of aerators are there which can be uh, used in the water treatment plant now this uh, main function of this uh, aeration is to introduce uh, the water to the atmosphere so that the oxygen can mixed in that and uh, another is that to get rid of the various foul gases which are uh, uh, present in the water and also to get rid of the various uh, uh, volatile content as well so uh, today in this uh, session we are going to study regarding this aeration and types of aerators so uh, aeration uh, process if you see the process of Absorb, uh, absorbing oxygen from air is known as aeration or we can alternatively we can define it as a, the process of bringing water and air into close contact in order to remove dissolved gases such as carbon dioxide and to oxidize dissolved metals such as iron and also it can be used to remove volatile organic chemical chemicals that is uh, abbreviated as a voc in the water so aeration uh, process if you see <coughs> again uh, when uh, you are dealing with or you are reading the material on either uh, on internet or in the books the aeration process uh, this can be used in the wastewater treatment plant as well when the water is used by the customers and it is released uh, to the various uh, streams and it act, uh, actually meets to the wastewater flow and which uh, which is treated before disposing of to the any natural flow or on ground surface so this water treated in this process also waste water treatment plants sometimes uh, aeration process is used why we use aeration there are various uh, functions okay oxidation of the organic matter that we are seeing the increase to increase the dissolved oxygen content to reduce the concentration of taste and odor causing substances such as hydrogen sulfide various organic compounds by volatile uh, volatilization stripping or oxidation 
to oxidize uh, iron and manganese rendering them insoluble so these are the various uh, the functions for which uh, we are using the aeration process now aerators are generally falls into two categories air into water and water into air what this means this method uh, first one is the air into water this method creates small bubbles of air that are injected into the water stream and the second is the water into air that this means that uh, it is designed to produce small drops of water that falls through air so you can understand this so function is same that to introduce the water to the uh, more area exposed area atmosphere uh, and third one is uh, all aerators are uh, designed to create a greater amount of uh, contact between the air and water to enhance the transfer of gases right now what are types of aerators aerators are gravity aerators spray aerators diffused air aeration system mechanical aerators and gravity aerators are cascade aerators and cone aerators now you can see if, uh, here gravity aerators water which is uh, received it is uh, either uh, flowing on the various steps right it is called as a cascade aerators or sometimes cone type structure is used so it is called as a cone aerators then if you are using some a nozzle system which is uh, uh, you are uh, spraying the water through those nozzles that is a spray aerators then diffused air system some porous water uh, pipes are introduced so that the you can introduce a compressed air in the water and it is called as a diffused air aeration system and sometimes you can use the stirrers as well uh, in terms of baffles or uh, other uh, uh, configuration so that is called as a mechanical aerators so this is run by the using the pump right now gravity aerators you can see the raw water is here raw water is uh, received here and which is passed on the steps you can see here and this is a treated water of that uh, particular unit now a cascade aerator consists of a series of steps that the water flows over in all uh, cascade aerators aeration is accomplished by uh, in the splash zones cascade aerators can be used to oxidize iron and to partially reduce the dissolved gases so you can see here again the steps are there now the water is uh, introduced from the center here raw water which is received from the rising main and which is passing over these steps right so here you are getting the the treated water of this particular unit cascade aerator okay you can see here again the raw water uh, which is received here and these are the steps okay splashing of the water takes place and the this is the aerated water instead of the treated water the more specific uh, term is which is aerated water here you can see one of the cross section of the this cascade aerator you can see the water is introduced here at the center okay the water which is received from the rising main right which is come coming here and that is passed over the these steps this passed over these steps so you can see here the phenomena of that okay so what is uh, the function of this aeration that you can understand and uh, because of this what is what is happening the oxygen is uh, mixing in this because of the exposure right then uh, you can see the structure of this this is the central pipe okay water from the, the rising main which is introduced here and which is passed over these steps okay this is also a cascade 
aerator okay so this the design also based on the the various requirements then cone aerators so you can see here the, uh, the two pictures are there which are cone aerators here cones are provided the cone aerators are used primarily to oxidize iron and manganese from the ferrous state to the ferric state prior to the filtration the water being pumped to the top of the cones and then being allowed to cascade down through the aerator okay so cone uh, tray is provided where the various cones are there right cones are provided and this water water which is uh, moving through the cones okay it is introduced in the terms of a splash splashed water okay here it is one of the cone structure is there spray aerators so you can see you can observe the nozzle and the sprays are there this type of aerator has uh, one or more spray nozzles connected uh, to a pipe manifold the water is sprinkled in fine jets through nozzles to a height of 2 meter to 2.5 meter the nozzles are generally operated at a pressure of 0.07 to 0.14 newton per mm square the discharge through nozzle will depend upon its design and available head of head of water right then next one is diffused air aeration system so you can see the cross section here this is the this is the water which is to be aerated okay then this is the air supply and this is a porous grid is there diffuser grid it is called as there so that uh, the water is diffused uh, this is called a diffused air system so uh, mostly you might have seen uh, uh, this thing in a fish tank a fish tank or a aquarium uh, at your home that uh, the water is introduced there through a motor you can see and that those bubbles formed in the water tank the same process is here right the perforated pipes are installed at the bottom of tanks the compressed air is blown through these pipes the air bubbles while coming from bottom of tank come into close contact of water contained in the tank and the aeration of water is thus achieved the depth of aeration tanks is generally 2.5 meter to 3 meter and they gen generally work on the principle of continuous flow with minimum retention period of 15 minutes the quantity of air consumed per 1000 liters of water varies from 0.3 meter cube to 0.6 meter cube right now you can see again this is again one more element of the air diffuser uh, diffusion aerator is there the compressor is used there these are the manifolds or pipes are there and this is the porous system is provided okay so that the this bubble action is formed and maximum exposure is uh, uh, given to the water to the air and getting the result of a proper aeration same thing has been shown here instead uh, the nozzles are used here the various nozzles are there and this uh, compressed air is uh, introduced and because of this nozzles the air bubbles are forming and um, we are getting the aerated water now mechanical aerators sometimes the mechanical aerators are used to obtain the aeration process mechanical aerators are of two general types surface aerators and turbine aerators the surface aerators are consist of submerged or partially submerged impellers which are centrally mounted in a aeration tank surface aerators agitate the waste water vigorously entering air in the 
वेस्ट वाटर एंड कॉजिंग रैपिड चेंज ऑफ ऑफ द एयर वाटर इंटरफेस और टू फैसिलिटेट सोल्यूबल ऑफ एयर सो दिस कैन बी ऑप्टर फॉर द वेस्ट वाटर एंड वाटर एज वेल रिमेंबर सरफेस एरिएटर्स टर्बाइन एरिएटर्स आर यूज यूजली अ फ्लो टाइप दैट रिलाई ऑन द वायलेंट एजिटेशन ऑफ द सरफेस एंड एयर एंटरमेंट ऑफ द एंड फॉर देयर एफिशियंसी अ ड्राफ्ट ट्यूब मे बी यूटिलाइज टू कंट्रोल द फ्लो पैटर्न ऑफ द सर्क्युलेटिंग लिक्विड विद इन द एरिएशन टैंक द ड्राफ्ट ट्यूब इज सिलेंडर विद अ फ्लेड एंड माउंटेड कॉन्सेंट्रेटली विद द इम्पेलर एंड एक्सटेंडिंग from just above the floor of the aeration tank to just beneath the impeller so mechanical aerators generally used uh, not only in the uh, water treatment plants but these are used in the waste water treatment plant as well so where the aeration uh, process takes place so these are the various uh, configurations of the mechanical aerator types where the turbine can be used to give the aeration process where a central tube can be used then this is a, a stroud is used vertical stroud is used here and uh, this is a baffle type a baffle type is a baffles are used to introduce the aeration process now if you see the uh, comparison between the diffuse aeration and the mechanical aeration so diffuse aeration is a uh, uh, mostly more effective now you can see the superior mixing full mixing for any depth full basing utilization on the contrary mechanical aeration if you see limited mixing depth limited energy location poor distribution then second point major energy saving approximately 40% energy is saved low energy demand here in the mechanical or aeration it is high energy cost high energy demand is there possible flexibility flexibility can turn down uh, or uh, throttle entire system loss of air when uh, units are turn off and no throttling possible right so here capital cost if it is used in a deep basin very economical short uh, payback period if it is used in a deep basin very costly comparatively high payback period so initial cost is also there that we will have to consider so this is uh, regarding the various uh, aeration system so friends uh, very important note that uh, that aeration system that can be used in a water treatment plant initially at the start of the plant and also the aeration system can be used in a waste water treatment plant as well uh, to give the uh, proper treatment to the water so in the coming lectures also we are uh, going to see how these uh, aerators can be designed and the uh, other units uh, which are incorporating in the um, treatment of water so thank you very much uh, friends for joining this session